tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Uh, this uh, episode, Sanor, this week's um, head to head, no? Yung Constraints and Agos. We have never guested them, but they honestly, looking at their, uh, no, no, their video and their sound, they, they sound and look quite impressive. Alright, um, kasi, I think I wrote that maybe a month ago or so. Maybe Ooh. a little less than a month ago. Mm. I was having such a hard time. Kasi, um, I was experiencing a lot of stress. Um, medyo nagkaka-haters ako. <laughs> and a lot of people were like, uh, criticizing me for changing my direction, some music. And then I was having trouble with my colleagues. My, uh, my collaborators and all that. So, um, ang dami ko pong pinagdadaanan. Tapos, one moment, I just had these words in my head. So, I wrote that song in five minutes. And wow. then, I... Yes! <laughs> Ako din nga po, gulat na gulat. Oh. Tapos, I started... I started shooting myself na bahala na. I just started playing the guitar. Tapos, yung tono, kung ano na lang yung maisip ko on the spot. So, hmm. ayun. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, Regine, of course, I just like to know the the reason why why the moniker Madame Ogi Rock. <laughs> it's so bizarre and absurd, po, eh, no? Because this is po. Um, yun nga, like you said, dihira na nga po yung babae sa rock scene, sa underground. Tapos Ogi pa. <laughs> then, uh, I'm just kidding. So, um, pero medyo half men. Um, kasi I, I don't classify myself as anything. I'm, I'm basically um, non-binary. So I, I came out this year as non-binary. I don't identify as just one gender. So I'm very vague about that. And uh, I like to keep it, um, when I'm doing my rock music, I like to keep it more on the masculine side. So um, funny story, I just played biglaan lang, nag-video ako, um, nakanta ko yung Harem's Karem. I, I forgot that I know that song, yung something to say. Tapos parang na-feel ko yung pogi ko. <laughs> Tapos ayun na, I, I, I wrote on Facebook that uh, pangarap ko matag na matang pogi rock. Eh. Tapos yun, nag-stick sa mga tao. So that's the start of it. Sorry, <laughs> okay. uh, uh, natugtog mo. Uh, currently, uh, um, uh, how would you classify your music or what genre are you in right now? Uh, right now, talaga parang gusto ko na muna mag-focus sa grunge and post-grunge. Mm, okay, okay, okay. The 2000s sound. So, okay, uh, si Regine, you, you do uh, live shows, right? Uh, corporate, uh, so ngayon pandemic, medyo puro ano muna. Digital. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, like, Wala po okay, tayong okay. choice eh. Nakakalungkot na. Kaya I'm so thankful <laughs> to have this kind of opportunity. Thank you so much for having me here, P81 yes. Radio. And uh, of course, Napalm. Kasi napakalaking tulong po nito uh, na mapakilala ako as the new Regine Ong, the Madame Poggy Rock is yes, 2020. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Memorable performance. Siguro, uh, can I answer dalawa? <laughs> okay, no problem. Kasi, alright, kasi yung isa ko, hindi siya exactly bar. So, uh, I'll name drop the show na. I went on tawag ng tanghalan. So, uh, yes. <laughs> Lahat pinatulan ko, no? Pero I enjoyed it so much. Oh my God. Hindi lang kasi ako nag-rock. So, I, I did jazz when I went to tawag ng tanghalan. I sang Feeling Good. Uh, version ni okay. Nina Simone. So, I really loved it. What, how it came out because they, they followed my style yung uh, old jazz and then they gave me freedom how to uh, arrange the song dinagyan ko ng scat sa dulo and everyone was hindi naman sila nagmamayabang po ako but everyone was blown away siguro din nila ina-expect from from someone like me na ganun yung buga uh, ako kasi I have never had formal training as in so I just really go by um as cliche as it sounds. Although hindi rin cliche kasi uh, very, I think very few artists uh, really, you know, play from the heart, especially nowadays. So ako, I like to keep it in that tradition na uh, purely emotion, purely feeling. I don't like um, 
technicality so much when it comes to music kasi I treat it as art. So kung ano lang yung mood ko, kung ano yung ma-feel ko, I just write it down tapos more on freestyling na ako. Wala okay. talaga akong form. Ako uh, parts actually when I was watching the ano the video. Now I understand why it had to be viral. Yung ganyang classing video. It's I mean, you can see there even though it's just a cover, it's really pure talent, right? You you would see from the screen. Oh, it's a song uh, ano, uh written by uh, Mike Villegas no? of Rizal Yay! Underground. Oh. Love it. You know, I had the opportunity to uh, see him perform it live. I think I was in Tubigarao uh, somewhere three years ago. So, yung, ma, maganda talaga yung, ano, maganda yung kanta. No? So, I think uh, Mike Villegas will be happy to see that version. Uh, your your version of Bilang Ko. Uh, I hope he saw it. Uh, can I just share a quick story on that? Yeah, go. Kasi po, um, that video kind of launched my, you know, my Madame Poggy rock um, infamy. <laughs> Kasi um, I posted that nung kakastart lang po nung lockdown. So, okay. the moment I posted it, nagulat ako si Sir Robin Padilla, si Nair. So, that's how it became viral. And then, I started to get a following after that happened. So, Mabigat-bigat po sa akin yung video na yun. Yes, yes. Wow. If, if there is one song that you will be known for, anong kanta to? One song I will be known for? Siyempre, D.O.G. D.O.G. <laughs> yeah. Pinakabagong, pinakabagong composition. It is me. Siguro po yung pinakamalaki na regret ko is not continuing Kasi nung nag-peak po yung career ko in 2008, um, kasi po medyo mahabang storya yung laban ko with music eh, and my family. Because I'm Filipino-Chinese, so ang gusto po nila, the usual route, business and all that. So, pinipigilan po nila ako sa music basically, uh, in short. So, medyo sumunod po ako sa kanila. I tried working, kung ano-ano po yung inuna ko. So, sayang kasi andun na yung momentum eh. Tapos, I chose to kinda, you know, uh, shelf my musical projects. Kaya parang natigil ko. Kaya, balik ako ng balik. Tapos, matitigil ako. May mga personal reasons din. So, ngayon, hopefully, consistent na ako. Kasi, sayang eh. Andito na ako ulit eh. I'm back. And, I know myself most at this time, I believe. Ayan, ayan. Ah, uh, single. So, Kasi para sa akin po, ang first love ko, ang asawa ko po talaga, eh, yung music ko, tsaka yung art ko, eh. So, yeah, aminado po ako. Kaya, tsaka na po yung love life. <laughs> Announcement also. Yun, focus ko po talaga ang music, tsaka art. Kaya, I make sure my time is devoted most to those things. Yeah, I will never have an excuse not to make anything anymore. Lalo na po ngayon, pandemic, so wala naman akong regular job. Kasi before, I was a personal trainer. So, ngayon, hindi na po siya practical. Kasi may ano yan, may physical contact eh. So, uh, he was, he was, di ba, virus? Good question. Well, actually, my, my question was, ano eh, most, I think it was already uh, na, na, nasagot na ni Regine kanina ah, okay, about okay, okay. yung, yung parang regret niya o yung medyo, ano yung incident na nag-hamper sa music niya. And, and uh, true enough, yun na nga, na medyo, may internal struggle siya na na na, na, ba, na, na balang ang kanyang career but now i think uh, she's on the right track and given the na time na more than what probably close to ano na rin siya, 15 years at the business i think we we there's already a very clear path of what Regine Ong is what she's capable of and what her kind of music is which is very uh, unique and uh, you know adapting to all these kind of genre. Thank you, thank you for recognizing that, Sir Charlie. Yes, kasi I try to be uh, very open-minded now. Kasi yung po, isa, po, isa ko pa pong regret yan before. I was so narrow-minded with my musical choices, my uh, yung pagpili ng genre, na nalilimit ko yung sarili ko. At saka, hindi ko masyado na-explore yung yung totoong kaya ko kasi ang dami kong mga yun nga, internal conflict with um, siguro masyado akong hipster dati in short ayan 
So, so yun, marami pong hipster umaaway sa akin ngayon. For your information. <laughs> Kasi po, lumalabas ako ngayon sa totoong mundo. So, ayan. Di ba, Ale? Kips, marami nagmamahal sa akin. Hindi haters. <laughs> Bitter lang sila. <laughs> As someone na, uh, ayan, uh, exposing yung, yung uh, yourself na uh, into metal music or uh, grunge music, uh, what can you advise the younger artists who are still music, uh, still thinking of uh, starting a music career? Especially, siyempre, yung mga babae din na uh, who are thinking na, oh, siyempre, babae ako, gusto ko uh, ballad or K-pop kasi yun yung bagay sa akin. Parang, parang ganun eh. So, uh, I would like you to encourage yung mga uh, female musicians or yung mga kids uh, na na babae no? to, na hindi hindi porque uh, babae is limited lang into ballad or into something cute or into something like K-pop you know? so yeah what can you advise them alright uh, uh, so I would like to make this short and sana hindi ma-interrupt yung connection so um just believe in yourself number one and then most of all follow your heart Kasi I really believe that music is expression and it's art. So kung ano yung talagang sinisigaw ng puso nyo, yun yung gawin nyo. Don't think too much of what people will say. Don't think too much of baka mabash kayo or what. Just do what you wanna do. Kasi kung yan talaga yung laman nyo as a person, as an artist, sa kaya yung nasa puso nyo, makikita yan ng tao and makakakonect talaga kayo for sure. So, be yourself. That's my uh, main advice to um, the aspiring musicians, the current musicians. Kasi yung iba rin po parang masyado nang iniisip yung audience eh. Focus dapat art sa sariling art kung ano yung gusto mong gawin. Kasi once na iniba mo yung trip mo just to, you know, please people, makikita nila yan and lalo siyang hindi mag-work. Based on my experience. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I think now I'm at home kasi ako na to eh, nilalabas ko na kung ano yung ako talaga. So, di ba? It's really uh, expression. It's not, well, syempre may halong showmanship. Pero it's really more on um, showing people what you feel inside. Yeah. Po. And keep working hard, of course. Be consistent. Keep working hard. Don't stop. Ayan. Well, first of all, thank you so much for the support, the love, and um, the encouragement that you are giving me. Kahit online lang po tayo ngayon kasi, you know, we're all trying to be careful kasi may pandemic. So, uh, ramdam na ramdam ko po yung pagmamahal nila. So, I really thank them for that. And thank you so much, the 81 Radio and Napalm, Sir Charlie, Sir Parts, for having me on the show. And um, stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, watch your diet, watch your sleep. Importante po matulog para yung resistensya natin hindi bumaba kasi delikado. Ang dami na pong nagkakaroon ng sakit ngayon. So, uh, iwas-iwas na lang po. Huwag lumabas kung hindi kailangan. Tapos, manood po kayo ng videos ko, Chef. <laughs> Madam Foggy Rock in the house. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.